Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. So far, so great. I mean, this show has blown away all my expectations in terms of its quality. We're not even into the meat of the story yet. I mean, we just, you know, scratched the surface. Not everything has been 100% like on the level. For, you know, the last episode ended on a, a weird one with like the cordyceps kiss, which I guess you could say that that's a creative choice for the director, maybe. I don't know. Didn't you say Neil directed the last episode? Yeah, but again, I, Neil did direct the last episode, but I don't know if I like I don't know if he's the one who wrote that part, or if you know they made a last minute call, or they did a take in that take. You know, the actor kissed Anna Tor, the woman playing Tess. I don't know, but what I do know is that it. That it was very uh, just a little bit uh, I I don't know I felt like it was a bit of a cheap like gross out moment that's just me nitpicking to the highest degree but everything else in this show has been ex exceptional the tension the action the effects I mean hell dude the clickers in the last episode looked freaking crazy I mean a disheveled post apocalyptic Boston you know, they're pulling it off. They're pulling it off very well. Annie Wershing, who voiced chess, uh, voiced Tess in the games, uh, she passed away a few days ago. Oh, no, man. Yeah. That sucks. I hope they have, like, a tribute to her in one of these episodes. That'd be nice if they still it, are able to. Well, I wouldn't doubt. Well, yeah, because... They could easily change the credits, uh, credits oh, for an episode to say... They, they they've done it all the time. Hell. Her, you know? Anyway, I guess, uh, I guess might as well go ahead and hop on into episode three here. Long, long time. Here we go. Oh, so Craig wrote this episode. Oh, so finally outside the city. More bucks than I thought. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. All right. You know, seeing as it's just the two of us, I was thinking I should. No. Pro <laughs> he knew exactly what she was gonna ask for. Why do you have stuff stashed here? You ask a lot of goddamn questions. He's a kid. That's kind of what I was go. thinking. <laughs> you ever play this one? Hell yes. <laughs> 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 everything nice. about this game. You forgot where you put your stuff. No. I'm just zeroing in on it. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... Get your light. Shine it in. Ellie. Oh, think that's a good idea. I don't... No, the stairs... Those were stairs there, and now they're gone. I'm just not going in a dark hole. Especially when I know there are actual hey, monsters hanging she out. She listens. <laughs> She's a, she actually has a working brain. Thank you, Ellie. Yeah, I mean, why she, would they stash those in a hole in the basement? I don't know. This is probably like a storage place. Oh. Got caught in the collapse. Ha ha ha. Basically taken over by fungus. Yep, you, there it is. Not much human left in it. Picked over my ass. What are you doing? There's not much ammo out there for this thing. Makes it mostly useless. Oh, you're just gonna leave it there. Five, five, six. No. <laughs> Told you you were going to a QZ and you were. If there was room. If you were. If there wasn't. That's fucked up, man. Sick. Dead people can't be infected. That's the other thing, too. Oh, man, really? Oh. Smart. Yes, <laughs> very smart. Hide and don't go out while the military can find you. And he's Not ready to put buckshot in some order, Jack Boot Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. Now that is my kind of... Oh, damn. That's a lot of sulfuric acid. 
good. Dude, this guy's That's a genius. That's legit. Yes. <laughs> this is how I imagined Micah would be at the end of the world. Hey, there he is. I don't think that's his boat. I don't think so. Oh, he's going on a collection spree, dude. Oh, yeah. He's got to get all he's the shit. He's literally the only person left in town. Well, there you Take go. everything for Smart. yourself. Smart. You see? Oh. Ah, poopy. That was fast. <laughs> he's like, got to go turn the lights back on. All right, fine. I'll do it myself. This is just... Oh, generator. Nice. He basically is just going to turn this town into his playground. Oh yeah. Ah, butchering. Very nice. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> He's been busy. Yeah. Oh, he caught one. Great taste in music. Great freaking... Are you armed? Yes or no? no? Why did you take that long to answer? I don't know. I, I thought about lying for some reason, but reason didn't come. Okay. If I feed you, then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. Arby's didn't have free lunch. It was a restaurant. Can I have five more minutes? Sure. Sure. Thank you! This is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Hot shower, I mean, yeah! <laughs> Not much for cleanliness. Doesn't know how to act. <laughs> I also just wonder why it was jumpy. It's like, what are you up to? Well, he hasn't eaten in two days, so... <laughs> Not to mention probably nothing that good looking like in four years. What the fuck? There is more. Not if I can't. <laughs> so I guess I'll be going then. But first, is it antique? 1948. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Hoffman, yuck. These aren't yours. My mother's. Uh, Could you uh, not? This is you. Best oh, Linda Ronstadt, hell yeah. I love Linda. Things in stride. <laughs> Sounds like oh, no, 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 sorry. No, thank you. Sorry. Not okay. this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not a professional. Well, neither am I, but... Take things in stride. So, who's the girl? There is no girl. I know. There you go. There's a man, baby. Yes, indeed. Jesus Christ, that's a hairy chest. That's a man's chest. It's weird as hell seeing Nick off from him looking nervous. No, I know, because he's usually like has an aura of confidence about him. Oh, fuck you! Come on! Hey! Would you stop? Do I ask for things? Ever? Why am I even saying that? This isn't for me. This is this is for us. Yeah, I forgot. I live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, <laughs> <now. laughs> for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower, that's all. Are, are we hosting formal garden parties now? No. <laughs> but we are going to have friends. Excuse me? What? We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. Huh? You what? <laughs> <laughs> you whore! <laughs> Can you not, please? In the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic, too? I'm not schizophrenic. Just paranoid. I'm just paranoid. <laughs> yeah. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank. Frank. <laughs> two part like two people that understand each I other. Understand. We're actually decent people just trying to get by. Oh. Well, aren't I the lucky one? The stuff we have in the QZ that you don't have here. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. At least turn the gun like quarter turned away from him. <laughs> just you already have the fucking thing cocked. 
I don't need you or your friend complicating our lives. That fence has got a year on it, tops. I can get you 10 spools of high tensile aluminum. There'll be raiders. And they'll beat that fence and your trip wires. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. 2013. Pick it up. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries! Oh. I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. What? Oh my god! A little one. The simplest pleasures of like enjoying something you haven't had in a long time. That <laughs> 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 little laugh! Nick Offerman it. giggling like a schoolgirl. Rain collection. Yes. That's actually illegal in certain states, which is bullshit. Oh, Raiders. Ooh. Ooh. There he is. He's got his rifle. Not sure why he's standing in the middle of the street and not taking cover. Oh, there he goes. He got hit. Hold your he goes straight there. through. I made a list for you. Uh-huh. Tell me about the oh. list. Wild turkey. Copies of, of all the keys. Good. Call Joel. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. no. This is back towards the present now. Oh, Damn. No. Is, it, is it Alzheimer's? Or not uh, Lou Gehrig's disease? Oh. Took most of the night. I'm exhausted. God damn it. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh, man. What if we find a doctor? What if What if someone shows up who can help? There was no... Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman? <laughs> there wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. That's true. I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I have had a lot of bad days. I've had bad days with you, too. Bye. But I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> 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 we'll get married. And you cook a delicious dinner. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine, bring me to our bed, and I will fall asleep in your arms. It's a lot to ask, man. <laughs> It's a lot to ask for someone. I can't. It's on the nature of daylight. Fucking Max Richter always gets me. Yeah, this episode didn't go the way I expected it to, but they've like uh, taken the time to massively expand the background of characters. Yes. Side characters. And to kill a horse. I do not support this. I should be furious. But from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. Well, there's the code. Jill knows something's wrong because it's very uncharacteristic for their, for their flowers to not be watered. He's gonna find them upstairs. What the fuck? Bill? <laughs> it's from Bill. To whomever, but probably Joel. So they're dead? Mm -hmm. If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. We left the window open so the house wouldn't smell. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you something because you're probably the only person who will understand. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. I saved him. Then I protected him. That's why men like you and me are here. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment, 
Use them to keep. Yeah. Yeah. Stay here. Should be the Chevy pickup truck that he that we saw in the first or in the first part of the episode. <laughs> I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble, and I'm heading out there to find him. My guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. Yeah. This guy was a genius. <laughs> yes, he was. Didn't reset the countdown every few weeks. This playlist would run over the radio. Oh. 80s. So it was an auto trouble play. Grab some cans from over there. Yeah. Dude. No. Uh... There's a wall of them. Oh. Yeah, that's the one. It's Frank's pistol. Yep. It's like a spaceship. No, it's like a piece of shit Chevy S10, but it'll get us there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't talk shit about an S10. Shit, my, granddad, my granddad had an S10 for 20 years, man. That thing ran like a champ. So easily, so easily amused. Leave it. Oh, this is good. This is Linda Ronstadt. Do you know who Linda Ronstadt is? You know I don't know who Linda Ronstadt is. Okay. Wow. Vastly different from our introduction and like that chap, like our introduction to Bill. In the game, Bill is a uh, Bill's a Bill's a Southerner. Uh, he who's basically transplanted up north. And he basically is like a pure survivalist. And he's not shy about like being like, like he's not socially off. Well, he is socially awkward, but he's not as uh, far removed to the point where he's afraid to talk to people or is like anything like that. He's more blunt. And instead of him writing a letter and telling Joel like he doesn't like him, he's just like, he's just like, I'll just tell you straightforward, man. I don't like you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever will. But you know what? I respect you. And you see, he would do stuff like that. And plus the portrayal of Bill and Frank's relationship is very different. Because in the game, you know, for the spoilers for anyone out there who has not played the games, I, I, I would definitely recommend doing it because they are more than worth the playthrough. So, <clears throat> with that, without being known, spoilers. Bill and Frank's relationship is very strained. And what I mean by that is, it was so bad that Frank tried to steal the car battery and suit and like get a truck uh, together without, uh, without Bill knowing and was going to leave him. Basically abandon him, leave him stranded. And uh, yeah, it was... Yeah, I completely forgot about all that and, part. Whenever we find bit, whenever we find Frank, he's basically taking care of himself, you know, and strung himself up from the ceiling. And yeah, when we reach that part of it, we see uh, Bill sees that, and he's just like, "That's Frank. He was my my partner." And then we find a letter, basically saying it's just like, "Bill, I'm sorry, but I can't change." Basically, just. The gist of it is like, I can't change you. I, I know you try to change me, but I don't like this. I think we've grown apart. This is goodbye. And basically, but, uh, we give that to Bill, and Bill's just like, yeah, well, fuck you too, Frank. It's a lot more, it's a lot more tongue-in-cheek and handled a lot more like in a passerby way, whereas this took its time and actually made these two characters like, very, very, like, overly endearing. Yeah. Like, and... Uh, I mean, in my opinion, like, uh, really how I see this is... So, thinking back to my experiences with The Last of Us, I know everybody's like, the story, the story, the story, but, like, I remember the gameplay well, the much more great. than the story, and I remember there being a fuck ton of it. Like, there was a lot of of just crafting stuff, like gathering resources, yeah. sneaking around clickers, fighting bandits and asshats, like fighting regular infected, running for your life, set pieces with traversing the environment when nobody was actually trying to kill you. 
And you can't just do that in a show, right? So that's what I've been sitting here wondering, like, is how are they going to handle the fact, the, the translation from, like, something where you can interact with it yourself and have a lot of fun even when nothing significant is happening with a story over to, a f like, you know, a uh, format like this where the story is basically very important. The forefront. Yeah, it's, like it at is all the times and cause, because of the fact that you can't interact with it. <gasps> um, and, and I actually kind of really like this episode. I like the idea of taking a couple of side characters and being like, well, this happened in the game. It wasn't super significant, but what if we use those side characters to tell like a really beautiful story um, just in an episode on its own that really gives it some meaning whenever Joel and Ellie make it to this part of where they were at in the game. And like, it, it, it's kind of a thing where it's sort of a little disappointing that they decided to just kill the characters without Joel and Ellie getting to interact with them at all. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I like <clears throat> I really don't dislike that this episode at all. Mm. Like, I think this was still a really, really good... Like, it, like I was not unentertained at all during this episode. Oh, same. But I mean, like, it was really interesting to me to learn their backgrounds and everything and how um, Bill had gone from, you know... A day, shut -in. day zero to... Where, yeah. where he was at, like, at the end there. Like, very, very cool. Like, uh, the preview did not give away that that's what they were going to be doing either. No, they like, didn't. Like, I didn't catch the aging up of Bill in that preview. So I didn't Same. realize that, you know, 90% of the episode was going to be flashbacks. But uh, in the end, I still give this, like, a 9 out of 10 for an episode. I really... I I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with this episode either, for the most part. I would say... I would say the change-up of Bill, I think, is... In some ways, welcome, but in some ways... I, I don't know. I miss... I miss that version of Bill that we had in the game. And also, W. Earl Brown and his portrayal. I don't think people can, like state enough just how great that guy is as an actor. Alright, this might piss some people off. But the fact that I have basically zero memory of Bill kind of tells me that, was he really that great? He was to me. I just don't to even... To you, he wasn't. I don't even hardly remember him. And that's like, fine. So. Well, that's fine. And I mean, that's not him. really... I don't know if that's my fault or if it's the fault of the character. No, it's... It might just be my brain. No, it's... Shitty. Nick... It's all about different, you know, people having different tastes and different stuff that they find memorable. Me, I found Bill in the game to be not only very memorable, but to me one of the standouts in terms of the story of The Last of Us. And I would say, and I would say a lot of other people out there who played the game found the same thing. Now, there are also people out there who'd probably look at Bill's chapter and just glance over it and wouldn't think anything about it. And I get that. I understand that people have different tastes and different understandings and different ways of looking at stuff, and I'm not and I ain't one and I'm not one to tell them that they're wrong. To you, uh, Bill in the game was not very memorable, and you prefer his portrayal in this. Whereas me, I, I, I would have loved a middle ground because. I'm not going to say they strayed away, so far away from Bill they did a disservice to the character. No. How they portrayed Bill in this was very good, but I would have loved to have seen a little bit closer of a representation of Bill from the game. Not a one-to-one, -one, because that would just be cheap. But I would say a little bit more of that cynicism bleeding through that made Bill, to me, such a memorable character in the game. That's all I'm saying. Not not saying that they should have ended it the way they ended it in the game because I would say it was I would say how they ended it in the game. Not gonna, it wasn't mean spirited or anything, but it was very like you could tell the cynicism was there and the tongue in cheek, just like not dark humor, but just like dark you know like reality of the yeah. situation. 
And with this, I would say the biggest, my biggest draw, my biggest drawback uh, with it is just that's all I I would say. But I'll also say this: the use of Max Richter's in the, on the nature of daylight, uh, the song that they played while Bill and Frank were having their last day. It's a beautiful song, but this is not the best usage of it I've ever seen. The best usage, by far, still to this day, goes to the movie Arrival. Holy shit. The scenes that accompany that in the movie are just... They are... I've heard... You've heard gut-wrenching, you know, like, rip your soul out, or, you know, just, like, in terms of, like, emotionally breaking you. That was a film that didn't just emotionally break me, but it it broke me in a way that I don't think I've ever been fixed from. That's That movie had that much of an impact on me. The usage of it here was good, but I, I would still say the usage in Arrival was, was I better. I think I want to watch a film I'll never recover from. <laughs> well, that's just me. I took, it, I took it like very close to the heart. My mom watched it, and she... She enjoyed it. She enjoyed the film, and it was very emotional for her too. But for me, I I don't know. Every now and again, I just go back to that song, and I just see every I just see everything like swirl through my head again, and it just puts me in a state of just oh. Anyway, I think that's enough for uh, uh, enough of us rambling because hey, it's what we do. Yeah. So it's until also getting late, we got some video games to play with Kate. So. Yeah. So until next time, everybody. Signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.